team of rabbits and foxes. <laughs> If this is the last clip you see of me, send help. little DM and said do you want to do a digital detox yeah. lock your phone in a box and just unwind for three days disconnected we bought enough snacks for a small family oh my gosh we have so <laughs> many snacks because other people who have done this retreat said to us you'll wish you had more layers and you'll wish you had more food mm. and so we have both in abundance yeah yeah one thing we haven't been is hungry <laughs> and here is our cabin. This is our box full of analog things. So in here we have a Polaroid camera, a little torch, and a Nokia brick, which I hope has snake on it. We also have a compass for directions and a map. I literally filled the bear grills with a Polaroid camera. This is the book that 
I've been reading. It's called Idle Wild. It's by James Frankie Thomas. And it's kind of this elegy to girlhood and friendship in a really specific time in New York City between 2001 and 2002. It's also about a Shakespeare play. They, they put on a Shakespeare play at their school and it's Othello, which is one of my favorite Shakespeare plays. So that's kind of been fun to see how they depict that story. I like a campus novel. I think it's fun thinking about the very specific dynamics that people have at school. <laughs> Do you agree, mister? <laughs> because those situational relationships yeah. are so unique to school. When you're a kid and you can't yeah. go anywhere no, else. Because it is about proximity. They're all based yeah. on proximity. And being friends with questionable people that you wouldn't usually be friends with because mm -hmm. it's convenient. Yeah, and whether those friendships stand the test of time because we then see them as adults when mm -hmm. they've lost touch. Which I think is like an interesting, an interesting concept. Dynamic to think about. What you reading? So I'm currently reading, current read is Edie by Jean Stein and also George, well I can't read upside down, Plimpton? Hampton? Oh, Plumpton. Yeah, Plumpton. <laughs> this book here, it's Edie Sedgwick's biography, but it's done in a really cool way that's, it's completely constructed by quotes of people in her life from birth to death. It's all just quotes from people who actually know her, so it's a really kind of personal account. and. It was hard to get into initially because it is kind of because she comes from this like crazy aristocratic old family. I said that so silly. Um, <laughs> aristocratic, yeah. It's your turn with the brain cell now. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even pass the brain cell. Our collective brain cell <laughs> is being passed around. Yeah, her, it's the first. The first like third is about her aristocratic family, and like I don't care too much about that. I care about her. So getting through that, chugging through that third was a voyage. But I'm up to the cool part now, where she's like doing a thing. Well, you know what else I read? I got to read another book. Jack's book. Ah! I got to read the first few chapters of Jack's book. What date is it? Um, it's January sometime. January 16th. It's January 16th. At approximately 1.30 p.m. At approximately 1.30 p.m. And Dakota, and Dakota is gonna read my book. Well, the first two chapters of it. I'm the first person to have access. I'm gonna shit myself. <laughs> <laughs> I actually feel like I'm gonna vomit. <laughs> And she was so nervous, so I had to go for a walk when I read it. <laughs> yeah, I like, what's the dog while you were yeah, reading it? Yeah, I had to go for it. And then he came back and I was like, no, do another lap because I was still reading it. Still digesting. Yeah, and I'm not going to say anything apart from you should be really excited. You should be really, really excited. Really? <laughs> yeah, you should be really excited. This is going to be, it's the story that you want to be told. <laughs> Love you. Oh, that is looking good. I'm easy. That sounds magical. That's nice. I'd prefer if you didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, good morning. Look at these. Oh, yes. And now we get to toast them, which is the fun part. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm very excited about this. Likewise. What you doing down there? Hi. <laughs> Look what we found, this gorgeous lake. It's like frozen over. Just on a little dog walk with my best pal. Come on then. I can't get over this lake. It's so beautiful. Sunset is gorgeous. Wow, that's very zoomed in. Japan, it was so long. Blue skies, please tell us why. 